Now let's get a golf tip from top-rated teacher John Tattersall. We're here at Eastlake Golf Club on the ninth hole. I've laid up perfectly. I'm in a great go position for the hole. About 130 yards from the green. I've got my favorite club in my hand for that distance. Number of shots we can play from here. We've got a front left pin placement, a middle placement, and a right placement. Using the same golf club, we're gonna hit different shots into the green. Let's talk about how to hit those shots. First of all, let's go front left. Let's hit a shot in there that's gonna draw in there. It doesn't have to go very high. There's nothing in front of the pin. We can hit the ball in a bit low and let it release back to the hole. By drawing it in, you're aiming at the middle of the green and taking it back to the pin. You're taking into the safe zone and then attacking the pin from there. So a low draw, what we want to do is play the ball about the center of the stance and you want to imagine that your hands are actually the club face. So if we're trying to hit a draw, you want to feel like you swing normally and through the golf ball, you can have more of a release over through the shot and it's more of this finish. Left hand is more down when you finish. The face is rotated over through the shot. That looks something like this. So it went in there a little bit lower and it's drawing back towards the hole. The next one we have is the back right pin placement. Now we need a shot that's going to fly higher and land softer. The back right po portion of the screen is much narrower. Distance control is a big issue. So we don't want a shot where the hand rotates over. We want a shot where the hand comes in and stays almost laying back a little bit through the shot. Now it's adding a bit of loft through the shot. The ball's going to go higher. If anything, it may fade a little bit to the right. And now it's going to land a bit softer and go the right distance and stop quickly. That's going to look more like this on the follow through. Notice how when I finish there, my hands didn't rotate over. They were more in a held off position all the way through the shot. The last shot we have is where you're taking the ball right at the pin. It's on the last hole. You're down by one. You have to make this shot count. So now we want to make the golf ball fly pretty straight and spinning and stopping when it lands. The one thing that happens a lot of times in this situation is we're pressing a little harder. We're a little more tense. We tend to hit down on the golf ball more. When that happens, the golf ball is going to fly right. If you're feeling that tendency, adjust your aim. Aim left a little bit, but really try and feel like you stay behind it, and now you're going to take a nice smooth divot, make the ball fly pretty straight. Should look something like this. Ball's not too far back in the stance. Nice thin divot, nice high ball flight. Right in the hole. Easy game, hope that helps you.